First of all, I wanted to let you know that the seed orders that I've received up to date went out today. So you should be getting them real soon. And me and the girls want you to know that we greatly appreciate that. We're surprised at how many people wanted to grow our seeds. And we thank you. I've got a little video today about how you can sift cornmeal at home. If you have got fresh cornmeal, it's unbolded and you need to to separate it out and get the bran out or separate cornmeal and grits, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do that. And these little screens that I use, I say in the video, it's funny. It's not really ha-ha funny. It's just strange that, that you get these little screens and they've all got different size screens in them. So you just have to kind of hunt around and find the size screens you need. But anyway, I'll show you how we separate cornmeal in the kitchen at home. The easiest way I know. All right, I got plain unbolted cornmeal right straight out of the rocks. And I've got a little kitchen screen here, strainer. It's a really fine screen. I don't know how good you can see that, but it's really fine. That'll be the first step. Dump my cornmeal in there. Don't want to get it too full, and I'll show you why. So I just start shaking this thing and trying to roll that around in there as best I can. Don't want to shake it out. Just roll it around as best you can and every once in a while tap it on the bowl because what that does, that real fine cornmeal, corn flour, it will stick to your screen and it'll slow you down. You just tap it once in a while on your on your bowl there, it'll clean the screen off. You just keep doing that. And I've got this thing turned up at an angle. It's not, it, it looks like it's flat, but see, I've got it cocked up like that to make that cornmeal roll over and over and over there. And when you've got it rolling over and over like that, it'll get all of that cornmeal out because you just keep agitating it. And when you get done, you'll see there's almost nothing falling out. You just keep shaking until you see no more falling. And when that happens, it's time to move on over to the next screen. Now the next screen I have is coarser than this first one. Let's see if I can show you the difference here. So you see, you see how coarse that is? Can you see how fine this one is in comparison to it? And you can find these things. It's funny, they're just, they're all different, but I just searched around and found these, but the next one is a little coarser and you just have to play with it to find the right screen size that you need for what you're doing. But then I dump this over here I do the same thing in this coarser screen. Roll, 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 roll. You just keep shaking the same thing until you don't see anything else falling. And what I'm doing here is I'm separating fine cornmeal from coarse cornmeal or fine cornmeal from grits. It's kind of whatever you want. Grits can be different consistencies just like cornmeal can. And that all depends on the grind, how it comes out of the grain mill. But what you got here is the bran. That is the skin off of the kernel. When that is when the grain goes through a stone mill, the skin does not get chopped up so fine. It goes through the stones without getting chopped up so that we can separate it. And we got a clean, we got clean cornmeal and clean grits. See there? That didn't just happen, folks.
So you got that bran in there now? You throw that out to the chickens and if there's anything left in there they can use, well they'll use it. Now you can see how fine that cornmeal is, see there? Some people likes it fine, some people likes it coarse. And over here's your grits or your coarse cornmeal. See that consistency? It's gritty. See how gritty? That's your grits. Fine cornmeal. I'm planning on putting out another video this weekend, so y'all keep your eyes peeled for that. We had some problems with last week's video. Somebody kept filing a fa false, fake copyright claim on it because of the music I used. It's copyright-free music. It's some scam. You have to go through and prove that it's not, and it's just a headache. So we'll be working on that. But anyway, I wanted you to know that's what the deal was with the video last Friday. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you real soon. Thank you for watching.